the ordinary for this year. Caruso looking for two in a row. So the Lakers are human. After all, they missed their last two from downtown. What a quarter, though. 34 to 20. Two and a half. Clock's running from Tampa Bay. First of two meetings. These teams will meet again at Staples Center on May the 2nd. Turnover. And here come the Lakers. Drop it now for Wesley. Goes to the dribble. Gets tripped up. No whistle. Wow. <laughs> they say play on. Length of the court. And that's a foul. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. That, no, that should be a flagrant. Whoa, look out. That was OG. And that is a wrestling move taking down Schroeder. Schroeder was, Schroeder was holding him up. And I don't know what he was thinking. He actually almost ended up body slamming Schroeder. And yeah, the, the officials will look at this. If they review this, uh, I'm very interested to see what the outcome will be. And restoring order as both benches spill on to the court. I mean, Schroeder does a good job of preventing the layup, but just and holding him. He's holding him right there so he doesn't fall. Now he gets up and like, yeah. <laughs> that's just ridiculous. And look at Trez coming in. Trez is coming in there. Gary Trent was in the middle of it too. Yeah, but the third man in usually is the guy that gets penalized the most. So well, we'll see who they rule as the third man in. Is that going to be Trez or is it going to be Gary Trent? Here's player altercation. All right, they're going to take a look at this, and there's a lot to unpack here with this replay and what just went down between Ananobi and Schroeder. And tennis hot, and there's Gary Trent. Looked at the time as always trying to break up, but then Trez came in, of course, to protect his guy. And look at Markeith. You know, he's going to come in and have his say. Well, 224 and uh, fireworks here in Tampa. When you have situations like this, it's always uh, interesting to see which team responds the best after the fact. Right now, the Lakers with a 14 point lead. Let's see how they respond after the fact. Do, this, do the Toronto Raptors go on a little roll of their own with this? Or do the Lakers continue to play? The way they were playing. Yeah, the Lakers are the ones that have been on the roll. So uh, if the spark's going to reverse it, it'll obviously be Toronto's way. AD and LeBron are both here. And there they are. They're on the trip. And we're just moments away from the verdict as the referees will huddle. Of course, they had a good look at the review from Jersey. If they review it or see it the way that I saw, saw it, I thought that Schroeder was just holding up the player. But then the player took exception, I guess, and, and that's where everything went south. And I don't think Trent or Trez did anything that warrants them to. Yeah, but, but uh, I know you're, what you're when saying. When you're third man in, I know what you're saying. it really becomes an issue. But again, Trez was up on Gary Trent, not See, he didn't go to the he didn't go to the, the, the two combatants. There's going to be a bunch of technicals, trust me. Yeah, technicals, yes. I hope nobody gets tossed in that regard. And Bain's coming over late. I don't think anybody going to get tossed. I could see a flagrant one being assessed to uh oh, to Ananobi. Ananobi. Ananobi, yes. 34-20. And they're going to go back and look and uh, rediscuss. So tempers flare. Fireworks are lit. And we're only in the first quarter. And while we have a moment, unapologetic enjoyment never tasted so refreshing. Let loose and enjoy the things you love with an ice cold Pepsi. Stock up on Pepsi today at your local retailer. Pepsi, that's what I like. Proud partner of your Los Angeles Lakers. Well, it's been a frustrating year for this Raptor team. Got off to a slow start, two and eight. Got to 500, 17 and 17, and then things went south. As mentioned, COVID hit them hard. So did the injuries. And for the Lakers, you could say the same thing. I mentioned they were 21 and six, and just rolling right along in mid-February. 
And now just trying to stay afloat with Braun being out for the last uh, over two weeks now. And it's 23 in a row for AD and 28 games total. And if you're just tuning in, uh, we had a bit of a fracas, a little bit of a melee. And uh, we're waiting to see what gets assessed. Schroeder and Ananobi. I think they finally come to some conclusion here and they'll be making the announcement any moment. Oh! After review, there's been two ejections. Anobi and Harrell will both be ejected for technical fouls. The opposing coach will pick who shoots two shots. All right, so Trez did get tossed. Third man in. Yeah. I mean, Trent was there, but it was Harrell that was a little more aggressive because Trent got there before Trez did. That's for sure. And that's, I think, what Trez is trying to argue right now. Well, he can argue all he wants, but the, just the way the rules are, the third man in usually all right, gets but, but there's uh, two, penalized. But there's the third man in, Gary Trent. But Gary's not doing anything right there, though. He's not doing anything. He just came over there. Well, I think Trez was just obviously yeah, hoping that Trent wasn't. He's protecting yeah, his he's, guys. He's protecting his uh, teammate. But uh, any way we want to look at it, it's not going to matter. Trez is gone. Ejected. He's gone, and so is Ananobi. Ananobi, right. And the, uh, it's a personal foul on Schroeder. So, unfortunately, Trez... Got two minutes in, and that's it. And there he goes. And uh, so both teams, both teams shorthanded. I mean, Toronto only dressed nine last night in their game. And now the Lakers, once again, lose one of their key guys. You can see the discussion. The discussion is uh, still taking place. No, he's already been tossed. He being Montrez, so he, he uh, after you've been tossed, you they give you a little leeway to get off the court into the locker room. If you don't leave in a timely manner, then the, the fine may become a little heavier. And you can hear some of the Laker fans that are here. I'm sure there's quite a few. About 3,500 in attendance. What a first quarter, huh? Well, I, I mean, mean, I don't like the ejections, that's for sure. But No, I don't like the ejections either, but the Lakers are doing what they were asked to do before the game, and that's make some perimeter shots as they've got seven three-pointers in the books already. 